Hey there, everybody. Good morning. little restart burp there on the intro. My name is Tom Rigsby. Thank you for being here this morning. Love it that you are here. We are here this morning to wrap up five days of five steps to start creating results that you want to see. We've got step number five today. We'll get to that in just a minute. Before we do, if you are watching live or watching on the replay, be sure to leave me a comment down below. Let me know that you were here. Just say hi. What you thought. Actually, here's a great question for you uh, today also. What have you thought of the five steps so far? Have they helped? Um, you know, do you have a way to apply those uh, day to day for you? But uh, I also answer the comments. Say hi to everybody. And by you commenting down below, that lets uh, Facebook know that you want to know when other people comment. All kinds of great stuff happen when you leave a comment down there. So, good morning, Jeremy. Thank you for being here this morning. We are uh, going to get step number five of creating results. We'll just go ahead and jump into that right now because I've got something exciting to share with you at the end. It is uh, here on Free Coaching Friday. All right. Step number five, let's recap the first four steps quickly. Step number one, you have to own it. You got to know what it is that you're trying to do. Step number two, you have to plan it. You have to know the milestones and those interim steps necessary to get you from here to there. I mean, you got to know, you got to plan the trip, right? Step number three, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> clearly, I need more coffee this morning. And actually, <coughs> Ah, so good. I guess the good thing I went in and got some more. All right. One, own it. Two, plan it. Three, make room for it. Potentially the hardest part is getting rid of something else so that you have room to create this result. Both uh, physically and in your timeline and up here in your mental space. And letting go of those other things, that's the hard part. But that's one of the key elements of being able to to uh, create new results. So, own it, plan it, make time for it. Yesterday, uh, step number four is schedule it. And we talked a little bit about block scheduling. There are tons more aspects of scheduling it, but the key thing to remember, right? Two things. One, get it down on paper, schedule it. Schedule a time to accomplish something for you. If you don't, then other people's priorities are going to take over your daily planner and um, schedule it. Right, and number two, try to do your stuff before you do anybody else's stuff. Because the longer you go in the day, the more likely it is that their priorities take over. All right, now, with no further ado, step number five, you just have to do it. Now, I know that sounds simple, but there is a step here. There's a, uh, an element here that I want to point out that a lot of people miss. Back in step number two, when we're planning it, we come up with these interim milestones that we need in order to get to that result, to, to create that outcome. Every time you meet one of those milestones, I want you to celebrate that. Celebrate it however it makes sense to you. You can clap for yourself. You can tell other people that'll clap for you. You can go out and buy and get a cup of coffee. Whatever works for you, maybe ice cream, I don't know, right? Whatever works for you, create that celebration, cross that finish line. Something that we are terrible about doing is, is finishing, right? We're really good at starting. That's why you're here, right? And I, I know some things about the people that watch the show. And one of the things is you're great at getting things started, we have, myself included, we have a really hard time finishing things, right? And um, so by setting up that celebration, that gives us a reward for crossing that little mini finish line, that interim finish line. And when we do that and we celebrate that, the dopamine gets released in our brain and we're like, hey, I want some more of that. So we do another one. Here's the example. Here's the kind of the existence proof. Have you ever created a to-do list, written out your to-do list, and you put things on it that you had already done? Right? Raise your hand if that's you. All right. Why do you do that? Well, it's not 
silly. I mean, we say it's silly, but it, it's not, right? It's brain science. Every time you cross something off that list, your brain releases that little hit of dopamine, and that little hit of dopamine is the addiction uh, hormone, right? The addiction chemical. So we want more of that. And so we write more stuff on the list so that we can cross it off so we can get more of that dopamine, right? It's simple, not simple. It's straightforward science, right? So celebrate. And if you want, decide how you're going to celebrate each one of those milestones in advance. This is, this is a pretty powerful little hack I'll share with you. If you know what that reward is, and you can make those rewards escalating rewards, right? Like, this one I get a cup of coffee. This one I get a bowl of ice cream. This one I get a weekend trip. This one, you know, take a trip to Fiji or wherever, right? I know that's a hockey stick kind of escalation. But if you can make them escalating rewards, then you build anticipation toward it, and that anticipation continues to draw you toward that result, right? I like making the whole last part of the journey downhill. It's just make that the hard part. All right. All right. So that's it. Those are the five things. You have to own it. Know what it is you want to do. You have to plan it. Know what the steps are to achieve it. You have to make room for it. You got to get rid of something else to bring something in. You have to schedule it. Uh, otherwise, it's never going to happen. And then you just have to do it as you do. Be sure to celebrate those victories. All right. That's it for this week for the five steps. If that has been helpful or if you have questions, I, I'd love to answer your questions about this too. Uh, either shoot me a message here on Facebook to the Unashamed Nonconformist page, or you can put it in the Work That Matters group uh, and get some great feedback from the community there also. Or you can just send me an email if you would rather, Tom at TomRigsby.com. I'll help you out with that. Uh, is that it for today? All right, so if you're in town, a couple of things coming up. This one's super, like super short notice. It's 7.45, so about half an hour from now. 35 minutes from now. It's hot coffee. If you happen to be in Huntsville, uh, be sure and check that out. Just look up hot coffee on Facebook. And then at lunchtime today, the men of business, the mob is meeting today. That's at uh, Terra Nova's at 1130. Love to see you at both of those. If you're there at either one of those, be sure and tell me that you watched this morning. I would love to hear that. All right. Few quick good mornings. Uh, hey, look, there's my bride. She's on the road this weekend. Good morning, honey. Good morning, Stephanie, and everybody else that's joined us. I know there's some lurkers because I can see how many of you are watching, <laughs> and I don't see an equal number of names. Well, there's one. Good morning, Emily. All right. Hope this has helped. If it has, I would love if you would do one more thing for me. Share this with a business owner or leader that you know that is the group of people that I have an affinity for that I like to help uh, somebody that can benefit from this message share this video with them if someone has done that for you be sure to go all the way back to Monday and watch all five steps there's great content in all of our videos this week that's it for this week I'll be back here next Monday seven o'clock with another installment of seven minutes in the morning you have a fantastic weekend by the way if you don't, uh, follow me on Instagram. You should. Uh, every once in a while, I put some good stuff out there on Instagram, especially over the weekend while I'm not doing the show here. All right, that now that's really it. That's all. Cutting it off. Have a great weekend. Talk to you Monday.